Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And the goals for today are very, very simple. I want to get fully prepared on my grind for Infernal Cape that's coming in the future episodes. Now, in order for me to do that, I need to get an SGS and I need to get an ACB. Those two upgrades would be absolutely crucial. Now, unfortunately, doing Saradomen with my relics is pretty damn hard. But alongside Saradomen, we're gonna be doing a lot of other things. So I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's video let's jump right into it i guess that is it zenai chard number four completed and uh, i'm gonna do i finish this task i need to get a full ballista but i don't think i have a reason to do the full task anymore i think i'm good to go i think i'm good to go we're gonna make a tormented bracelet with this zenite here it is the actual last time i need to make myself a zenite we're gonna chisel it down i actually think i might still need a boost for this but we just need to get to the furnace and finish this thing off all right so we boost for it we use the furnace we click the zenite bracelet there it is now we enchant the bracelet and if i wear it there it is equip all zenite jewelry master task 500 points and that's gonna be extremely helpful when i do tob or when i do nightmare most likely so very happy with that bracelet and uh, with that being said i think it's time for some more uh, god wars <gasps> what Dude, I just got a Sarah Hilt on KC13 and I'm using the melee method without the recall relic and it's horrible. It's so bad to do it. But here we go. We just got a Sarah Hilt that will change things probably quite a bit because I mean, I only have two specs of it. But if I want to do Inferno, this is going to be very, very important. I did not expect to get anything. I was just attempting to give this whole melee thing a shot and... Here we go, KC number 13, and we get a Sarah Hilt. I'm actually just gonna go make that right now, because I actually forgot to bring a spec weapon with me. That is amazing. And because of our dry streak over at Bandos, we actually already have a Godsword Blade, and I pretty much have another one. I did not even realize, but I can make another one. Um... I was unaware of that. Well, now I know. But if I just add this to that, we got ourselves a Sara Domain Godsword. That, paired with my Sustain Relic, paired with my full Gothen, I should be able to do anything for any amount of time, pretty much. So we're gonna go right back at Sara, hopefully score the Armadil Crossbow as well, and if I get that, then... I guess Inferno next. I hope you guys are enjoying the almost daily uploads and if you could just give me a little bit of a favor and like this video so more people get to see it, I would really really appreciate it. And also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. <gasps> Dude, what? Are you tr <sighs> I just got a back-to-back -back Sarah Domen Hilt. <laughs> Kill count 13, Sarah Domen Hilt. Kill count 14, Sarah Domen Hilt. Are you kidding me, man? I can't even use it. Like, there is no use for me. Like, that's ridiculous. I can high alk it for 300k. Oh my god, what are the chances? All right, let's call this an editing break. We just got where well, we just kept mining. We went from 13 mil to 18 mil already, all in mother load. And can I purchase myself another piece of prospector? This one is 60, this one is 50. Let's buy the most expensive one. And just one more piece to go for literally the hardest task in the leagues. Right, I think we'll do this in a couple of hours, so that's not too bad. If you plan to do the prospector task on your league's account, be prepared to be stuck in this place for a very long time. As you can see, my mining XP is over 20 million and we started at 13 million mining XP. And we are finally about to be completed with the task that should be a master task because it takes so long to do. But there we have it. That is a full prospector for, well, 100 points. I think that's a little bit of a scam, but you know what? The most important thing that we get out of that is we actually get to complete a Falador hard task. Now, I still need to do like a quest to fully complete this, so I might go ahead and do that in the very next clip. However, let's go ahead and actually finish the task we did all of that grinding for. And I guess just crawling through this tunnel was the task already completed. Now, if we were to quickly check the Falador tasks right here, you will be able to see that for this one, I need to complete the Grim Tales. 
and then I just need to get one more rune crafting level. And I think I can do that from the rewards of the lamps. So let's go ahead and do, do that simple quest. I am most certainly not procrastinating and just randomly training thieving for absolutely no reason. There was level, I don't even know what level I got, 85 thieving, solid. Alright, well I've been thieving for a little bit of time and here it is, 89 thieving, I think I started at 84 and I might go all the way to 99, I'm just watching Gilenor games right now, chilling, relaxing and uh, yeah, this thieving level is going up quite fast. Alright, and this will be 90. Now I can actually complete another task that's fairly easy. Well, if I can not get caught. And that would be to just thieve at Tazar. I think it's a 250 point task. There it is. Let's move this a little bit up here. 90 thieving. We can thieve Tazar. We're gonna go right there and see how many points we get for a task. Well, so originally I just wanted to get a diamond of this place, but I've been here for an entire level. Thieving level is now 91 and believe it or not, still no diamond to be seen. I should be having two by now. I've thieved over 340 of these and I think it's like one in 150 or something like that to get a diamond off of these and that's a big task that I gotta do. So I'm just gonna keep clicking these and hopefully get a diamond sometime soon. Ah, there it is. Finally got it. Okay, 250 points. Was it worth it? I'd say so. Yeah, I think it was worth it. That was nice. Now I can return back to the good old are the nights. Alright, it is the morning, let's complete a few quests in order to complete Elite Diaries. And here's the first quest that I needed to complete in order to start Grim Tales. Gives me a bit of HP XP, not that I really need that. Grim Tales to me is a pretty enjoyable quest actually, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna send it here and see how the whole boss fight thing is. Obviously I do not know, but with the relics I think it should be fine, I don't know if I can even pray against it. Okay, yeah, I can. <laughs> right, so I, I don't know what I was expecting. I should have known that that's gonna be this easy. But yeah, with this quest completion, we'll be able to complete hard Falador Diaries. And then I do not know how much I will need for Elite. Because I just need to get one runecrafting level. So we'll see what to do with that. And here it is. A lot of experience in a lot of different skills. Especially since I get 16 times all of that. Uh, that is amazing, and on top of that, I also, ooh, agility level, nice. And I get this dwarven helmet, which is what we needed. I'm also gonna be finishing 99 farming in a second after I complete the diaries, because all my trees are grown, and that's like three magic trees and I'm done. This should be as simple as just wearing the helmet, there it is, hard diaries completed, let's go ahead, grab the rewards, and see if it gives me 88 rune crafting. Speaking with Sir Rebral, and he gives us a Falador shield number 3, if we use this experience on the rune crafting, we get 240,000, so not enough for 88, let's see if I can do a different diary, which I don't think I can. Alright, and as promised, here is another 99. 99 farming, this time around 250 points, and most importantly, I can actually get a skill cape of farming, and it's a pretty useful one. It increases my yield when I do herb runs and whatnot, so I'll go ahead and buy that right now. Um, and... My favorite thing about this is when you look at the right part of my skills, look at this, they like nicely flow, 99s into 99s. Fletching is probably gonna be my next one, thieving, very simple, 99 to get. We are going to go for max on these leagues and look, it looks nice, like you can actually make like a nice, nice uh, line of just 99s. I'm very happy with that. Right, let's get a cape real quick. Now this is not going to be the end of the farming training, I will be going for 90, uh, 25 million for some extra points, uh, but there we have it, this is the cape, we all know it, we all love it, and uh, yeah, I think right now I will start taking myself Fossil Island Wyvern tasks, Fossil Wyvern Island tasks, anyways, Fossil Wyverns, because they will drop me um, small, medium and rare fossils and I can use those to get kudos in order to finish my Varog diary and I can also get a visage drop. Alright, I've been fairly busy so I decided to just fish for a while and with up to 40 million fishing XP but also 88 agility. So if we look into how much XP, well this is not gonna show all of it but I get about 160k agility XP completely AFK an hour alongside with obvi obviously strength and fishing but I don't care about strength and fishing XP because it's, both of those skills are already over 25 million. However, getting Passive free agility XP when busy is pretty solid. I think it's time to go uh, do some PVMing now though.
Alright, well let's hope that today is the day when we finally get our hilt. We start on KC number 377 and yeah, we just need a hilt from this place. We have a bunch of everything else already obtained. I got a rune square shield and I have a feeling that this is really rare because that's the first time I've seen this drop in 390 kills. Oh man. Alright, well, we get a god sword shard 1. It, uh... Oh boy, 413k KC... I mean, not K, 413kc and we get that, so I really hope I can get this healed before 500, because after 500kc, you're basically just wasting time killing bandos, but I really, really want the BGS, it's just such a useful item. And here is a Godsword Shard 2, same trip off a minion this time around. Um, yeah, I think I might need just the Godsword Shard 3 and then I can have 4 blades. Or maybe that's my third blade. You know what, I'm not even sure. Alright, well, I got my food. We end on 440kc. Could be going for a bit longer if I wanted to. We got a Godsword Shard 2, we got a Godsword Shard 1. Um, but now I think I'll go kill some Abyssal Demons, get an extra whip. As you were able to see, we did use our last whip earlier, so I'll just use my Hasta. To kill some abyssal demons and then if i get a whip i'll just use whip i'll probably go for one or two whips and then we'll move on to probably finish off the 500 general grardor casey here is the blade situation we do have an sgs we do have a zgs and we have one full blade completed which i could make i guess a second sgs but i don't want to do that so all we need is godsword chart three and we can have one of every godsword and that will be very nice. Here we go, we finally got a whip, uh, so now we have one extra spare and one full tent. I'm gonna finish this task, maybe we get another one. <gasps> I just got an imbued heart! <laughs> You're joking me, let's go! <laughs> okay, there we go, we got it. Boom, perfect. Lovely, right, that is, what a timing that is. Okay, 60 left on the task. We got what we came here for, kind of. Not really, but we got a whip, we got a heart. The only thing missing from a superior is now a dust battle staff. Surprisingly, that's the last one we still need. Alright, I found the place for our heart. We put it right here next to our Sanguinesti staff. It's gonna come in pretty handy when I camp uh, over a thousand Kraken kills for all the tentacles that we'll need. Uh, but yeah, now let's return to Bandos, finish off 500 KC, and hopefully score ourselves a hilt. Ah, yes, and the good old Bandos Tessets. In fact, Bandos Tessets number 5. I had 5 Tessets, 1 chest plate, 1 boots, no hilt. For the standards of leagues, that is actually pretty unlucky. Because, well, there's no hilt. I could have seen, I think, three with my kill count. We're still gonna push for 500 and even beyond that because hilt is such an important piece of weaponry that I really, really need. But uh, there is our fifth pair of Bandos assets. Well, here goes nothing. This is going to be kill count number 500 right now. And yeah, still no hilt, unfortunately. One of the most important drops that you need to get in Trailblazer League. I'll take this moment here to show you guys the entire loot I got from 500. But there it is, 250 points for completing that. And uh, very unlucky that I did not see a hilt in... With my kill count, I should see at least 3. Uh, or very close to 3, rather. Uh, but uh, we saw 0. So that's a little bit unfortunate, however, I'll show you the loot from 500 and all the minions I've killed along the way. I guess I'll have to stay here for longer and waste a little bit extra time in order to hopefully get a Bandos hilt. Alright, so let's quickly take a look at 500 kills. Well, 499 kills according to Runelight. For some reason, one kill was not recorded. Uh, but we got 5 tests, 1 chest plate, 1 boot, 0 hilts. 3 Godsword Shard 2s, 1 Godsword Shard 3, and 1 Godsword Shard 1. Alongside that, 30 Snapdragon Seeds, 2.5 million in just straight up coins, and a lot of extra money in just alks that I've been alking while I do this. A bunch of coal, over 4k coal, 80 Snapdragon, decent loot all in all. If we take a look from the minions combined, we got 1 Godsword Shard 1 here, and 2 extra ones here. 
We got a Godsword Shard 3, once from this guy, once from this guy, and we also got one Godsword Shard 2. So, a lot of Godsword Shards, a lot of Bandos pieces, but we are missing the most important piece. However, I do not know if I want to keep going, man. I think I want to switch it up a little, get for... Go for that ACB and then eventually return over here for this Bandos Hilt because realistically I really only need Bandos Hilt for TOB. It would be maybe nice for Sara Domain, but if I can get a little bit lucky and get ACB there, then I can do Inferno with no problem with just Sara Domain Godsword. So we're gonna stop here, 500 KC is a good milestone and let's go ahead and do some Sara Domain. Ooh, there we go. We just got a Saradomin sword, and I think that's a task. So now we have two hills from here and Sarah's sword in 25kc. And that is 250 points. We will take that with pleasure. So now I think only ACB to go from here. Oh, and the, 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 the Saradomin light. We, we don't really need that. Ooh, and there we go. We get a Godsword chart 3 of a minion. Not bad. We'll take that. What are the chances? I just got a Saradom in Shard 3 of that minion over there. And then I get another Godsword Shard 3 of this minion over here. The likelihood of that happening has to be rare, even in the league standards. That's crazy. And with that, I have enough of Godsword Shards to complete 4, 4, 4 full, 4 hilts. 4 hilts. We can complete all of them. So we've got this one. Uh, over here, and we got a Zamorak over here, and we can also get Bandos and Armadil, and that is wonderful. So every Godsword chart from now is just whatever. We'll still take them, obviously, for all the excess hills that we get. Uh, and I'm also banking all these Summer Pies, because I will use them to boost for 90 plus agility in order to do Arduin cores up until 92. And at that point, I'm then going to go ahead and do Sepulchre, most likely, all the way until 99 agility. Um, but yeah, very solid. I can do... Let's say around 10 kill strips and then I need to bank because I don't have the teleport back relic But I think I can push forward to that armadillo crossbow All right, well, it appears that we got every drop but the ACB so far in 51 KC and that is pretty solid uh, I don't think you get any points of this I could attach this to stuff of the dead But I do not have stuff of the dead yet and I can consume it in order to make my Zamorak room a lighter and therefore well, much more easier to see in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to consume this right after I kill these minions. Because when I'm gonna do Zami, I really don't like how dark that area is. So I'm happy with this drop, actually. I'm probably gonna get a bunch more of these and I'll regret saying that. But for the very first one, I cannot complain. It's a solid drop. Alright, so here we go. We consume the Saradomin's light. And our Zemrak room is now going to be much, much lighter when we enter it. And I'm happy with that. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god! ACB! There it is! 250 points! We can finally go do some inferno attempts! Okay! Oh, I'm so happy you got no clue! So I got so unlucky at Bandos, but I got so lucky at Sarah! I'm completed in 63 KC! Two hilts, one ACB, I got the sword, that's all the drops. And I got the light as well that I used to put, uh, to make my Zami room lighter. We are legit done in 60kc. That is crazy! I am so happy right now. Okay, get out of here. In the next video, we're attempting some fire, I mean infernal capes. Okay, I'm so looking forward to that. It's gonna be challenging. I gotta make some bolts first and prepare and do all sorts of things, but I'm really hoping that I won't struggle with full-on melee infernos. And, uh, yo, I'm excited, dude! That's gonna be so fun. Hey, thank you very, very much if you made it this far into the video, if you finished it off. I appreciate it a lot. If you enjoyed this one, there is a high chance you will enjoy some of my previous uploads on the channel. Once again, check the description for that. Also... Obviously, consider subscribing. We are pretty much halfway done to 99,000 subs. 
in RuneScape terms, we're on like 92k subs right now, which is really, really crazy. 100k is still the goal for the, well, leagues, I guess. I, I think we can reach it. Um, but, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys are excited for the next video because I surely am. And uh, I'll see you all around very, very soon with another upload. Have a good one, everyone, and bye-bye.